Hi friends, welcome to Everyday Athlete. My name's Rachel Andrews. It's super to have you along. If you're interested in outdoor swimming, you're absolutely in the right place because my channel's got about 200 videos about it. I'd really love it if you'd hit that little subscribe button and join me with the journey. Over the last few weeks, I've been reading this book. I've been getting really stuck into it. Blue Mind by Wallace J. Nichols. It's about how water makes you feel happier and more connected and better at what you do. What's not to like? I mean, as a water baby and an outdoor swimmer, I already know that, but it's good to read up on the science of it. Anyway, not far into the book, it talks about flotation tanks and having read about it and heard what he said about it, I couldn't get the idea of that flotation tank out of my mind. If outdoor swimming's relaxing and this was relaxation on another level, I just had to give it a go. So I got hold of a friend of mine, Chloe, and uh, I asked her if she fancied it. So we looked up where the nearest one was and actually it's just a couple of miles away in Southampton. So off we went and gave it a go and here's how we got on. I'm not sure how relaxing uh, a little industrial unit will be, but uh, let's go in and have a go. Here's Chloe, all ready, all signed in. Okay, waving all done. Oh, perfect. Superb, we're all sorted. Got to take a shower first, obviously, for um, hygiene reasons. And then I've got 10 minutes of music. Um, and I think the light stays on for that. And then the music stops and the lights goes out within this pod. And then it's 45 minutes of silence, followed by then eventually five minutes of music to tell you that it's ending. I've got a choice about this pod lid here that I can either pull it down and close it on myself or I can keep the, uh, keep the lid open or ajar. It seems that either is fine. I'm excited to get in. Well, I've come out and I'm in the chill out room now. Um, they've got my fruit tea at the ready. And I must say, I don't know what to think of it. It was a really interesting experience. It's funny because to start with, when the light was on and the music was there, it felt like a kind of, like I was about to get a massage or something. It was like that traditional massage type music. But then when I switched the lights off, when the music had stopped, you just left there with your own thoughts. And it's funny what you do think about. My mind rattled about all over the place. I was thinking about how far I was from the edge of the, uh, of the pod. Um, I wasn't really concerned about the height of it. I was concerned about where I was in it. Um, which given there was only me in there, wasn't really a concern. Uh, but it was a really odd experience. So Chloe and I haven't been for that first float. We decided to take advantage of the offer, which we emailed through, um, which said that you should go a couple more times to really feel the benefit. So because it was such a, a kind of a confusing experience, we thought, well, let's, let's see what we can do with that. Let's see if it's any different if you go a second time. So the second one, both of us felt much, much more relaxed. Less of the time spent quietening your mind, thinking about where you were in relation to the edges of the pod or how high the pod was or any of that. That was all gone because now it was familiar and you could just really relax. I actually think I fell asleep when I was in there. So that just shows how relaxed I was. 
haven't got to the point where it's uh, where where it's all super duper dreamy or anything, but I'm wondering if that will happen this time. I did feel that um, my 45 minutes in the dark wasn't quite long enough on that one, as opposed to being very aware of the times the first time and thinking, I wonder when the music's going to come on and all those questions. It was more about just relaxing and enjoying the watery environment. So let's see how the third one goes. And uh, they might have a floating addict here. I'm just waiting for Chloe to come along because we're going to go for our third float today. I'm really interested to see if I build on last time's experience because the more I think about it, the more I remember, apart from falling asleep, I also had some really crazy dreams, kind of half awake, half asleep, I don't know what it was, but um, I don't usually have any dreams. So to have crazy dreams while I'm floating in water, seems like something that's worth pursuing and I think that could be interesting today. Just getting ready for float number three. I'll spare you the um, in-tank um, floating imagery but I'll give you a bit of a rundown about how I feel and I'll also ask Chloe to do the same hopefully over a pizza or something. See you on the other side. Well I said I wasn't going to speak to you from the pod uh, but sadly this time I haven't found it at all relaxing, um, probably my own fault. I went bramble picking or blackberry picking yesterday and I got a few scrubs on my leg, a few scratches and the salt water is really making that sting. Another thing on a slightly more x-rated side of things is it stinging my lady parts. Now I did take the precaution of using some of their petroleum gel to minimise this, but it seems I didn't use enough. Um, so I've basically just been floating about thinking how uncomfortable I am and wondering how long I've got to go. I've had the lid up and down, regulating my temperature. I've been over to look at my watch a couple of times. I'm really peeved because I was hoping to fly my way through this third one. I was really looking forward to it. Be interested to see what Chloe thought of it though. So about our uh, pizza, I feel all the better for that. Much better than I did for my, um, for my flotation. How did you find that on the third one? The third one wasn't as good as the second, but it was still enjoyable. What was the, what was the difference? What was the second one like? The second one, I lost all sense of time. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep, um, and it was coming out, I came out a completely different person, I think, from that one. Whereas That's funny, isn't it? Not so much today. Yeah. And I had a similar experience. Well, I had a more burning experience this time. <laughs> but. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I was disappointed because I thought the third one was going to be just even more epic than the second one. I maybe bigged it up too much because it was so good that second time. I wonder if going there today straight from work and not having a chance to switch off, mm. whereas the second one we did, I wasn't at work during the day, so I hadn't been as that level. Meanwhile, I wasn't at work this time, and I was last time. But then, but yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know. But I might give it another go at some stage. But I'm kind of thinking that um, I'll give it a skip for a little while. But maybe we'll revisit this. <laughs> I think the first two we did were closer as well. Yeah, that might be. So I think we might have left a, a gap too long in between to really feel the benefits. Maybe. Maybe. That's a big marketing ploy, isn't it? <laughs> Get us in again. <laughs> oh. uh, so the jury's out then? Yeah. Not fully bought in, but not completely mm. a write-off. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't write it off because I think it's, it's something people should try once. Uh, well, twice, twice at least. Twice, twice for sure. The first is a bit odd and hard to switch off. <laughs> <laughs> given that it's such a new, strange experience. Yeah. Wow, well that really was a unique experience. The first time 
uh, being all strange and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. The second time being dreamy and leave me wanting more. And the third time actually leaving me a little disappointed because it wasn't what I expected. But maybe Chloe was right, we perhaps left it a little long. The interesting thing was you just felt fully supported. The tank wasn't very deep, maybe about, um, not even knee deep I don't think. Um, and it was so salty, you were fully supported. There's not many places I can think of that I've ever seen where you could just float unencumbered for an hour and just be left with your thoughts. So outdoor swimming is a different kind of um, calm experience. I find that when I'm in the water, I just feel happy, content, and just thrilled to be part of a, a, bigger, a bigger thing, just being really at one with nature. The thing I like about being in the water the most is that it washes away my worries. It gives me other things to concentrate on and look at and I can really enjoy being out in nature no matter what the weather. If you've enjoyed this week's video please give it a like and drop me a comment and also consider subscribing to my channel because it really helps. Do that by clicking on my face and dinging the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out and I'll see you next time. Bye!